Ông quý cho. President, please be seated. Ông chúng tôi chuẩn bị cả một tổ cái trong đại cán đi tiếp khi sắp nhập. Is back in session and the floor is now given to the international deputy co-prosecutor to put his line of questioning to this civil party. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam Civil Party, at the first January Dam work site, were you allowed to move about freely and go where you wish? Answer, no. We cannot move around freely. Why do you say that you are not allowed to move around freely? L'accusation est pourquoi dites-vous que vous n'aviez pas le droit de vous déplacer à votre guise? Answer. If we moved around freely, we would be sent for refashioning or re-education. Nous aurions été envoyés en rééducation si nous nous étions déplacés. Were you allowed to leave the work site if you wanted to? Answer, no, we dare not. Were there any guards or soldiers at the work site? Answer, no. I have never seen any uh, militia men or soldiers. Did you have any family members that were at the work site or who lived near the work site? Answer. My siblings, my aunt and uncle, and my relatives did not live uh, close to my work site. Thank you. You've told us that you were given gruel to eat while you were at the work site. Can you give us an indication of how much gruel you were given at each meal? Combien vous donnait-on à manger à chaque repas? Answer. I had a two ladles of gruel per time. And as for soup, there was a morning glory soup uh, mixed with. Uh, Fermented fish paste for three of us. And after you would eat the gruel or soup, were you still hungry or were you full? Une fois que vous aviez mangé cette bouillie ou cette soupe, aviez-vous encore faim ou étiez-vous repu? Answer. We were still hungry. Nous avions encore faim. Since you were still hungry, were you allowed to ask for more gruel or more soup? Answer. No, we could not ask for more. Our ration was two ladles. Would you receive any food Question. before beginning work in Avant the morning? Le le matin, de la nourriture? Answer no. no. It was until 11 a.m. that we had meal. Ce n'était qu'à 11 heures que nous avions un repas. Mm. 
you state in your supplementary information form D22-3914A that you want to be able 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 to each of us had to carry four cubic meters of earth per day. If we were unable to do so, they would not allow us to eat. Close quote. Did you know of people who did not meet their quota and were not allowed to eat? Avez-vous entendu parler de personnes qui n'avaient pas pu remplir leur quota et que l'on avait privé de nourriture? did not witness anyone who did not meet any quota. We all had to meet the quota set. Did you receive water to drink? Question. Vous donnez-on de l'eau à boire? Answer. For daily, for daily water to drink, we had it from the small pool, and uh, we had to um, be on our own putting water in the tube and had it with us. Was the water clean? I'm sorry. It was not clean because the well was that close to the kitchen and the water waste from the kitchen sometimes went into the well. We collected the water and put it in our tube, that is the palm sugar tube and uh, we had it along with us uh, at the work site to drink. Were there any facilities for latrines at the work site? Question, y avait-il des latrines ou des infrastructures de la sorte sur le site de travail? Answer, no. Réponse, no. No latrine built. Aucune we, the pit was dark and uh, the poles uh, were used to make uh, that kind of uh, pit uh, to relieve ourselves. On avait construit quelque chose de semblable à une fosse pour pouvoir se soulager. Were you allowed to wash yourself? while you were working at the work site? Question, aviez-vous le droit de vous laver lorsque vous travaillez sur le site du barrage? Answer, Réponse, no. Non. No water to wash nous ourselves pas at the work site. Nous laver sur le site de travail. We had only one time bathing at our hall. Nous pouvions prendre un bain une fois dans le dortoir. And the opportunity you had to bathe at your hall, were you given soap to bathe with? Question, et lorsque vous faisiez votre toilette, or did you have soap yourself? Aviez-vous vous-même du savon? Vous donnait-on du savon pour que vous puissiez vous laver? In the period of Pol Pot, I have never seen any piece of soap, Je even a small piece. I used the ashes uh, to wash my clothes and to clean myself when uh, they were loose. You mentioned earlier that on at least one occasion you developed a fever while you were at the work site. Were you aware of other workers also getting sick? Yeah. 
Yeah, me and... As a... Yes, some réponse. fell sick. Oui, certaines personnes sont tombées malades. Do you know Question. what kind of illnesses they had or what kind of symptoms they had? Quels étaient leurs symptômes ou de quelles maladies ils souffraient? Answer, I do not réponse. the type of illnesses. Uh, mostly they fell sick of uh, dysentery and uh, de high dysentry. fever. And also had a but uh, most of the time they uh, de were de sick with dysentery. Mais la plupart du temps c'était la dysentery. And would individuals who Question. got sick receive any sort of medical Et care? Personnes qui tombaient malades étaient-elles soignées? Recevaient-elles un quelconque traitement? Answer yes. There. Oui were rabbit pellet drop uh, rabbit uh, dropping medicines in our units and we would use such uh, medicines for our dysentery and also a uh, high uh, fever did that medicine Question. seem to be effective ce médicament semblait-il efficace Answer. Réponse. Sometimes we recovered from the illness, but sometimes the medicine was not effective. Parfois, le médicament n'était pas efficace. Parfois, and who would give prenait... this medicine out to Question. people who were sick? Prescrivait ce médicament aux gens qui étaient malades. Qui donnait ce médicament? Yeah. Answer. I do not know where the medicine was taken from, but when members of the units uh, fell sick, medics would prescribe uh, such medicine to us, and I do not know where they were brought from. Was it your impression that the medics were knowledgeable? about medicine and how to treat illness? Que les médicaments s'y connaissaient aux médicaments et savaient comment traiter les maladies? President, hold on. You may not proceed. Uh, counsel for Mr. Kiel, some point. Oui, est-ce que Monsieur le yes, co-procureur uh, pourrait reformuler ces questions de façon à ce qu'il n'y ait pas uh, des impressions so et qu'il puisse poser des questions sur des faits So you can ask questions about specific facts, not about impressions. I'm happy to rephrase. Je peux tout à fait reformuler. From your perspective, when you were interacting with the medics who point de vue, lorsque vous parliez distributed the rabbit pellet medicine, medicine did they de appear to be knowledgeable about how to treat your illness? Savoir comment traiter votre maladie, semblait-il s'y connaître? Answer to my observation. Réponse. Que pu voir. There were no kind, such a kind of medicine like uh, today, uh, and as I said, there were only a rabbit dropping dit, medicine, no amoxicillin, paracetamol medicine, and I could not say how intelligible they were. Donc, when people got dire, diarrhea or headache, les gens they would be de given de de tête, the donné, rabbit trapping medicine. Ces médicaments en forme de crotte de lapin. Madam Civil Party, you mentioned 
earlier today about livelihood meetings. Can you tell us approximately how often these meetings were held? Answer. The live, livelihood meetings uh, were held in small units Ces réunions de vie se once en petites every unités. three days or Elles four days. Une fois, tous les trois the ou jours. main purpose of the meeting was de to be in full swing in relation to our work. And we were warned not to fall sick uh, very often, otherwise uh, we would be taken travail, away for refashioning and re-education. Did you have a choice Question, as to whether to attend these meetings, or was it required? We had nothing to refuse the assignment because uh, it was uh, instructed by our unit chief. Uh, we were afraid of them. At any time that you were in the old North Zone, were you aware of the arrival of cadres from the Southwest Zone? Au moment où vous étiez dans l'ancienne zone nord, avez-vous eu vent à un quelconque moment ou avez-vous su que des cadres de la zone sud étaient arrivés? I do not remember when. Je ne me souviens pas à quel moment. Putting aside when, were you aware of the arrival of Mis cadres from the southwest zone? La date de leur arrivée, savez-vous s'il y avait des cadres de la zone sud-ouest? Answer. Réponse. No. No. Were you aware of a change in leadership at the 1st January Dam work site? Si la direction du site de travail du, premier, du barrage du 1er janvier avait changé à un moment donné? Réponse, Answer, non, je I pas. do not know about it. Thank you, Madam Civil Party. Mr. President, I have no further questions. Je vous remercie, Madame la Partie Civile. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions. President, President, do you have any question? I mean, uh, the judges at the bench. You may not be Thank you. I have a um, couple of follow-up questions. My first follows up on the last or last but one question by the prosecutor. You told us that you were told in a meeting that you should better not call in sick too often because otherwise you would be re-educated. Now I would like to know have you been told what other actions of yours would lead to re-education? Si or to put it more clearly, actions, they told you don't call in sick too often or you will be re-educated where there are other warnings of the same kind. I'm 
Seven party. I'm sorry, Yorana, I do not get your Partie question. Civil. Please je repeat désolée, it. Je pas votre question. I'll Vous try to be more specific. Je vais plus you told us that at the meeting you were told don't be sick too often or you will be re-educated. Now I want to know, for instance, did they also tell you, don't run away or you will be re-educated? Or, don't work short hours or you will be re-educated or anything similar. Do you understand the question now? Livelihood meeting uh, laid out the instruction that Pendant workers should not call in sick very often, otherwise they would disappear. I've understood this part of oui, it. Cette -là. My question Ma is, were you also told not to do other things besides calling in sick? Were you also told that re-education would happen in other cases? Or was the only case not, falling, not calling in sick too often? The only comportement that would have you sent to education was to fall ill too often. We were called to a meeting in our units, and we would be instructed as what I told your honor. They warned everyone that not to call in sick very often, so that uh, uh, we could not be called uh, for refashioning and re-education. I'll make a last attempt with direct Je questions. Were you ever told if you run away, you si will be re-educated? Answer. If we run away, Réponse. We would be arrested si nous nous for re-education and refashioning, or perhaps reforger. we would be killed. We ran away Ou from work. Exécuté. This means that uh, we betrayed uh, Anka. Si I understand. But where you Je told this bien. specifically in these meetings, did somebody say, if you run away, you will be re-educated si or killed? Fuyez, vous serez Answer, yes, we were told. Oui, on nous dit. Uh, we were told orally. Yes. Um, did somebody tell you at these meetings, if you don't work enough, you will be re-educated? Answer, yes, we were told as such. Did somebody tell you, if you complain, you will be re-educated? Okay, 
answer. Peoples. Yes. Oui. When uh, we uh, got sick, uh, we would be warned malade, that please not fall sick uh, very often. Otherwise, uh, we would uh, be sent for si uh, re-education and we would not get any food to Et eat or any gruel to eat. De This is what they told you. Donc ce This vous is what dit. you were told. C'est ce que l'on vous a dit. Man. Answer yes. Man. Now my second question. You said for you, re-education meant being killed. Can you tell me why you thought that every time somebody is sent to re-education, he would be killed? Answer. When we heard of the word re-education and refashioning, there re would be one option for those people. And uh, we were asked whether we wanted to leave or we wanted to die. They disappeared si and I heard et alors that people disappear and uh, I did not witness those incidents but uh, I uh, was told and heard from my uh, worker uh, in my place that uh, we not uh, calling in sick very often otherwise uh, we will disappear. So if I understand you correctly, the reason why you personally thought re-education always means killing is because that's what workers said when they talked to each other. Is this correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. One more question to Je this subject. You just said one sentence before. Vous venez de dire you were asked whether you wanted to live or die. At least that's how it was translated si into English. Si Can you tell me what you meant by that? Me dire ce que vous par là? Answer. Yes. My unit chief told me that he mentioned this to members of the unit that the sentence said by unit chief. And uh, then the unit chief would say You, you wanted to die or live. Le chef d'unité disait alors, toi, tu If, veux vivre uh, ou tu sick, veux mourir. Uh, si nous étions malades, we would be taken away and killed. On nous aurait so emmené, on nous aurait exécuté. Donc, il fallait work, travailler dur et faire de notre we mieux. To take rest. Même si nous souhaitions nous reposer. And the unit chief Je told this Donc, in meetings or to Je you cela, or pendant des réunions, in which context did he Dans quel contexte le chef make the issue of uh, the, the mention of do you want to live or die? Cela? Si vous vivre ou mourir? Was this in a big meeting or just talking to you or était-ce au cours d'une discussion individuelle? Answer. When the unit chiefs said that uh, we wanted 
to live or die, he made that kind of statement si in the morning mourir, at the time that uh, we matin, were woken up. Alors que nous venions de nous réveiller. Did he do that repeatedly or did you only hear it once? Question, vous l'a-t-il répété ou ne vous l'a-t-il dit qu'une seule fois? Answer. Réponse. He did not make repeated statements. Il ne l'a pas répété. When uh, there were not all workers at the work sites. He never made repeated statements uh, every morning. Rien le matin. Now what I mean is, did he Question. say it on more than one day? Je voulais vous demander s'il l'avait dit. Or did you only hear it one time in all the months you were there? Est-ce que vous l'avez entendu une fois par jour ou une seule fois en tout? How often did you hear him say that, Combien if you remember? Combien de fois vous entendu dire cela, si vous vous en souvenez bien sûr? Yeah. Answer. Réponse. He made such statement twice or three times. Il l'a dit deux fois. He mentioned this fois. when no workers, not many workers at the work site. So as I stated, uh, he made only twice or three times. Il l'a dit deux ou trois fois, comme je l'ai dit. What, what do you mean Question. when there were not many workers at the work site? Do you mean to say, he said, there are so few people, the others are sick, you better come? Or what, why do you say few, few workers at the work site? Why did he say it when there were few workers Pourquoi at the work site? Pourquoi l'a-t-il dit alors qu'il y avait peu d'ouvriers sur le chantier? Réponse. He said those things because a number of the uh, group Quite a number of the groups fell sick, un certain nombre de membres but of du course, groupe étaient tombés malades. Uh, not half or fifty percent of the Ce workers fell sick, but at least four or five uh, workers from a group fell sick. So there was not enough uh, men, not enough men to power working at the work site. And that's what he said, and this is, does not mean that those who voilà did not turn up to work disappeared or was taken away and killed, but they fell sick. Yeah, and after he mentioned these, Question. well, threats, Merci. did people turn up, people who had originally called in sick? Est-ce que après ces menaces, les gens ont continué à tomber malades? Did this have an effect, this kind of threat? Ce genre de menace a-t-il eu un effet quelconque you had to force yourself uh, to work. And those people who said that they were sick, it was due to the lack of food and uh, malnutrition. And with that threat, uh, those people turned up to work uh, the next day. Although there's still a few left there at the sleeping quarter, and they went to work, or they forced themselves to work out of fear. Thank you, that describes the situation. Now I'm changing completely to another subject. I want to talk to you about the visit of um, vous dignitaries, de la visite de dignitaires, probably including Pol Pot, that you described earlier. En particulier, probablement de Pol Pot, dont vous avez déjà parlé. You said that this visit had been 
announced to the workers in advance. Now, I would like to know how was it announced? Did it come over the loudspeaker? Was it announced in group meetings or in any other way? Yeah. made a visit to the dam, it was not the uh, group chief or the unit chief who told us, while we were carrying the dirt in a group of four at the time, then we were told that was purple the top uh, chief. Notre groupe de quatre était en However, train de I must stress that I did not uh, recognize him at the time. Moi, je ne pas I only uh, saw him from about uh, 10 meters away from where I was carrying dirt at the dam work site. So just, just to clarify, you didn't you did not know about the visit before you saw him and somebody said that's Pol Pot. Is that correct? 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 Yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, est exact. Then there must have been a translation issue before. Um, on the day, if you remember, on the day Pol Pot and the others visited, were you given any instructions in the morning to behave in any way differently than on normal days? No. Réponse, non. We were uh, not told to prepare ourselves for the visit. Uh, ne nous a pas dit at least, it did not happen within my unit, and I cas, cannot say whether it happened uh, in the other units. Que cela a été le cas dans you unités. were wearing the same clothes as usual and working as usual. Is that correct? In your, within your unit, at least. Yes, exact. Is this correct? Yes, exact. Yes, that is Réponse. correct. Oui, c'est exact. We were uh, dressing in our uh, ordinary and usual uh, dress Nous that we had. Uh, there was no habituel. special dress or clothes uh, given to us uh, during that day's visit. Nous a été remis pour cette visit. Now I'm moving Question. to an other subject. Je passe maintenant à un autre sujet. While you were working at at the work site. Lorsque Do you remember, chantier, have you ever been filmed vous -vous si with a camera? No, I did not uh, see any uh, filming process. Je pas vu de de film. Have you ever been Question. shown films vous in meetings or Au cours de réunion, par Otherwise, exemple, while you were working ou à d'autres moments, lorsque vous étiez sur ce chantier. Yeah. Réponse. I watched uh, a film once. After the meeting that is uh, at uh, the website, do you remember what kind of film that was? Vous souvenez-vous de quel genre de film il s'agissait? Réponse. The film uh, shows that uh, workers were running, carrying the dirt. Uh, that was all about it. Was this a film that showed your, your work site or another? 
montrait-il un autre site Ou bien montrait-il un autre chantier, un autre site de travail Réponse. It, it was during the meeting. C'était pendant la réunion. I understand it was during the meeting. Question. J'ai bien compris I'm que c'était pendant la réunion. I'm talking about what you saw in Mais the film. Je ce que vous avez vu dans le you film. said you saw people running. Vous avez vu des gens en train de courir. Could you tell was this film made on si your work site or on an other work site? Sur votre site de travail ou sur un autre chantier? No. Réponse. The film was not about my work site. And I cannot identify where it was filmed, film. but I Je saw people were carrying dirt in the film. film. Was somebody talking Question. to you, telling you something about the film, or were you just en même temps que le film était projeté? watching Ou bien and then walking out? De or did somebody comment on the film? Y a-t-il eu des commentaires pendant ce film? At the conclusion of uh, the meeting, I returned to the uh, sleeping quarter to relieve myself, and I did not hear or know whether any uh, commentary was made about the film. Okay. Now I'm moving again to a different subject. Question. Bien, je passe à nouveau à notre sujet. Did you ever see people with weapons Avez on the work site? Avez-vous jamais vu des armés sur le chantier? Guns, pistols, something Avez like this. Avez-vous vu des armes, des kind pistolets, of ce genre de choses? No, Réponse. I did not. Non. Uh, my last question. J'ai encore une dernière Short question. One. Une petite question. You mentioned that there were no children in your unit. Vous avez dit qu'il n'y avait pas d'enfants de, au sein de votre unité. My question is Did you see children working on the work site outside your unit? J'aimerais vous demander à présent si vous avez vu des enfants travailler sur le chantier en dehors de votre unité. I saw no children either in my unit or outside my unit. I've just found another short question. Did you ever see or hear about cages or cage-like structures at the work site that were used to discipline um, des cages workers? qui auraient été utilisées pour discipliner les ouvriers. I do not get your question. Then it must be an issue of translation. Please use the same word as we heard word we used with the last witness who said it. Have you ever seen cages? Avez-vous jamais vu des cages or something a structure like a cage vu des structures qui ressemblaient à des cages side, or close to the sur le side, chantier or... ou près du chantier Ja trong doi tan rap tan trong ki tan rap da vi nei da are you referring to cages where people will be placed in for disciplinary sanctions or something like Comme mesure disciplinaire? La juge Fence, oui. 
Did you see such cages? Avez-vous vu ce genre de cages? Yeah, are they? No, Maybe. I did not. Réponse: Non. Thank you. I have no further questions. La juge Fens. Merci. Je n'ai plus de questions. Le président, je vous remercie. Le juge Jean-Marc Lavagne a la parole. Oui, bonjour madame. J'ai très peu de questions à vous poser, mais j'aimerais que vous nous disiez si vous receviez souvent des vêtements pour vous habiller. No. No. Only when it was torn, then a new set would be given to Ce me. Ce n'est que lorsque nos vêtements étaient vraiment déchirés que l'on nous donnait une nouvelle tenue. Aviez-vous des chaussures? Did you have any shoes? We were not given any shoes. L'on ne nous a pas remis de chaussures. I was given by my relative uh, a pair of shoes made from motorcycle uh, tire, not the car tire. Pneus de mobilette et non pas des pneus de voiture. My elder relative who stayed in a Kampong Cham uh, made me that a pair of shoes. Mes proches plus âgés qui vivaient à m'ont fabriqué cette paire de chaussures. Et pour ceux qui n'avaient pas de proches qui pouvaient leur donner des chaussures, est-ce que vous avez remarqué que certains travaillaient pieds nus Did you observe that some people walked barefoot Yes, almost everyone oui, presque tout le walked monde bare feet. marchait pieds nus. Vous avez travaillé pendant la saison sèche you worked et during vous savez au Cambodge season. que le soleil peut taper très fort. Est-ce qu'il y avait des endroits où vous pouviez vous protéger du soleil hot. Were there any places where you could seek shelter from the sunshine? Of course, uh, there were places where we could uh, take a shelter, sûr, but we did not dare to take any uh, shelter Mais there. Non, pas aller Est-ce qu'on vous avait remis des chapeaux ou des kramas? Were you given any hats or kramas? No. No. However, we were given a scarf. En revanche, l'on nous a donné une écharpe. But sometimes we did not dare use it during the working hours, as we had to use it as a blanket at night. And if we were to use it during the daytime, sometimes it got wet, and we cannot use it to cover ourselves at night. On ne peut plus l'utiliser pour se couvrir la nuit. J'ai cru comprendre, Madame, au début de votre audition, que vous étiez mariée et que vous aviez deux enfants. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous êtes mariée pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique ou après I got married in 1980. That is Je me suis marié en 1980 après la chute du régime. Est-ce que pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique et en particulier quand During vous étiez sur le site Kampuchea du barrage du 1er janvier, il y a eu des mariages qui ont été arrangés. Site. Were there any arranged marriages? No. No.
Est-ce que sur le site où vous travaillez, On vous the aviez site, remarqué la présence working, de Cham, did you Cham Islam the presence of Cham, Cham Islam There uh, was none in my unit, and I il cannot say about the other unit. units. J'ai juste une dernière question. Est-ce que vous avez question. été prêt ou est-ce que vous avez entendu parler d'une pagode qui s'appelait Wat Barai Chandek? A pagoda called Wat Barai Chandek, or did you ever hear anyone talk about it? No, I did not hear uh, about it. Non, je n'en ai pas entendu parler. Bien, je je vous remercie beaucoup, well. euh, Madame euh, la partie civile. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions Thank à you vous very poser. Much, Madame je party. précise au parti que I have no euh, for un you. film euh, sera sans doute visionné, mais that. pendant l'audition de ce témoin mais à un autre stade a film du procès. Will be viewed not during the testimony of this witness but at another stage in the trial. Uh, President, uh, my fellow judge, uh, when you seeing the video clip uh, can be displayed? Monsieur le juge, à quel moment pensez-vous que ce film pourrait être projeté? J'avais initialement pensé le projeter, mais je compte du fait que cette partition nous dit ne pas avoir été filmée, que ces souvenirs today. concernant But ce film paraissent assez peu euh, précis. Je pense like qu'il est préférable de euh, projeter ce film lors de l'audition d'autres témoins et nous allons entendre d'autres témoins. Pour ce particular witness, so we will screen it at a subsequent stage in the course of the testimony of other witnesses who may not be as sensitive as this particular witness. President. We only have a few minutes left uh, before we take our lunch break. Therefore, the chamber decides to take a, a little bit of an early break now. And I saw, uh, I see Councilor Copper on his feet. Uh, do you have the floor? Um, thank you, uh, Mr. President. May I take the opportunity to ask uh, for some clar clarification um, to the chamber about uh, document presentation hearings? Is it the intention of the trial chamber to do this after this particular work site, um, the 1st January dam, or after all um, work sites have been finished? President, you have the floor. Oui, euh, je pense que la Chambre va bientôt vous communiquer par euh, euh, email euh, quelle est sa position à ce sujet. Donc, euh, je crois qu'il vous faut attendre un tout petit peu, so, mais il me semble que may, nous, may nous envisageons plutôt euh, de procéder à euh, des audiences sur la présentation des documents clés, ainsi que sur euh, les souffrances des euh, uh, parties civiles, une fois que nous aurons examiné les well trois as, uh, sites de travail, euh, savoir le 1er janvier, euh, le barrage de Trimpec May et la réouverture de Campo Um, voilà, mais de toute façon, vous allez recevoir d'ici très peu de temps un courrier. Uh, I'm not sure that was much. Uh, we, we'll tell you after the break.
Nous vous en parlerons après la Thank pause. you very much. And um, a follow-up question as to uh, the question or, or the remark just made by uh, Judge Laverne in terms of um, films to be shown um, uh, to the civil party. I was intending to show the same um, documentary footage um, that the prosecution had shown earlier to uh, the previous uh, witness, Mayas. Um, Mm -hmm. um, chose, would, would, would I be allowed to show that two minutes, those two minutes, or does it mean that I can show that footage? Ou, and, and, and it's the same kind of film, um, but again, we'll tell you after the, after the break, we'll talk about it. President, uh, the chairman adjourns now for a lunch break and resumed at 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, please assist the civil party at the waiting room for the civil parties and witnesses during this break and invite her as well as the TPO staff back into the courtroom this afternoon at 1.30. Security personnel, you are instructed to take Kirsten Pawn to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.